QC. QC, QC, QC. It's so much more complicated than just looking at a finished scooter and saying, okay, it's good to go. Uh, there's multiple steps and what well, we needed to really learn every step of the process and improve every little one of them to have a finished scooter that looks the way it looks now. I know at Apollo we are a premium brand, so having a great QC, having a great experience when you unbox a scooter is, well, it's critical for that. Let's start it. Here we are getting all the parts ready to be assembled. So you can see we are getting some stem here, individually bubble wrapped like this. And also they are all separated with actual foam. And we're actually switching the bubble wrap now to be a shrink plastic on it. So we're gonna leave it until you take it off. The whole scooter is divided into semi-assemblies. We have seven semi-assemblies. Uh, so this is the first step. We assemble the whole handlebar like this. Um, and this is where the first part of QC happen. Uh, right now, all our staff is on break. Um, we use this moment because it's quiet to make the video. But usually there's someone here that's gonna check every uh, single one of them uh, to make sure that it's, um, well, perfect, that there's no scratch and that it's ready for the next step in the assembly. And those sheets here are for assembly, but more importantly, they are highlighting uh, what to look out for. So they're gonna highlight things that we don't want uh, and things that we want, uh, certain gaps, you know, uh, really putting the emphasis. Um, and this is telling the employee, well, what is acceptable or not. And we made the decision to hire pretty much everyone here and to have a production output consistent enough to keep the same employee doing the same thing all the time. So it's the same employee that's adjusting the folding mechanism, for example, and building them on the air, on the city, on the pro, on the go, on all our models. And uh, this is how you get consistent great result. So th this is just an example of another semi-assembly. We saw just handlebar, then they added the headset and all the electronic components. Uh, so it's being placed here and then they're all going to be individually tested on a scooter uh, rig, like the one that we have here. Uh, we're going to connect the cum cable and test the turning signal, the brake sensor, accelerator and uh, everything electric on the headset. So that's basically uh, passing and you can imagine that doing this is going to save so much time compared to having the whole scooter assemble and then you realize that one of the light doesn't work. Well, then you're guessing, is it the light? Is it the headset? Is it the controller? Um, what's happening compared to now we can isolate the problem, reduce the amount of time that is necessary to being reward. Uh, so optimize the timeline for uh, the time for production and everybody is just more happy. We have one for the headset. We have one for the stem that looks like this. And at this uh, stage, they are all being um, adjusted as well. The first adjustment, they're going to be checked at the outgoing QC as well. But that's wh what we're doing for, for the stem. And we have the body here. So we're not going to walk you through every one of them, but you get the idea of basically breaking down the very complex machine into different parts that uh, some people can own. And like uh, we have a manager, well, just for the headset, we have a QC manager just for the uh, stem. So by having parts like this, it's a lot more uh, easy to manage. And one thing that we didn't mention, it's the incoming QC. We have a whole dedicated office at the back of the factory that they get all the parts uh, and someone's going to check all of them one by one to make sure that the paint is consistent, that uh, the dimension to our uh, within range because all our parts are pretty much CNC after coming out of the mold and then you add paint on it so it needs to be perfect and it can change from batch to batch so we have the incoming QC then those parts are being assembled and once they're all assembled well they're being put together on the scooter that you're gonna you see there on the production line um, and once the whole scooter is assembled and everything then it gets to this point uh, with our own QC team uh, at Apollo. Uh, the Chao is our QC uh, manager, uh, the man on the ground in China, and uh, he's the one that brought our defect raid uh, to record low, uh, this year. Thank you for that. Thank you. Um, so please walk us through uh, what is, uh, this is Violet, by the way, uh, what she's doing exactly uh, in QC check, and how do we record them and how do we improve it? Um, okay. So the first step we are looking at a scooter, uh, we check the cosmetic of the scooter, making sure the whole scooter looks perfect. There's no scratches, there's no dents or anything like that. Our whole QC procedure uh, on average takes between eight to 10 minutes. We check every aspect of the scooter. So right now, Violet is uh, going through the cosmetics and then the basic function, checking uh, checking the, the wheels, they, they can be locked with the handle brakes, checking the, the power, uh, the singles. As of now, because 
by this time, we already went through multiple step of QC already. Uh, usually there's not many problems that can be seen uh, by, by, uh, by the time the scooter gets here. Like, uh, what is the percentage of defect that we're seeing on the, let's say, 2022 version when you started uh, versus now? Uh, how is that improving number of Number-wise, uh, since the beginning when I first started, DeFi rate was, I think, around 30%. 30%? Uh, after, after a year now, uh, we managed to lower this uh, considerably. Uh, right now, be between 1%, 1, 1%, 1 to 3%. That's great. So we passed from 30% to between 1% to 3%, depending on the model. But we say defects, right? But there's different category of defects, right? What are the three main categories that we break it down? For cosmetics, uh, basically it's with all the minor defects. It just like scratches, uh, little dents. We count those are as minor defects. Uh, and the next step is the major defects. Uh, major defects Defects are mainly like uh, bigger cosmetic issues or function issues. Uh, we consider all function issues as major, uh, major defect. So a light not working or the like the button switch or something. Uh... Exactly, exactly. And the last one is a critical defect. So basically anything that can cause uh, a breakage or anything that can uh, cause an injury, uh, mm -hmm. those are considered uh, critical. And when we talk about the 30% or now even the 1 or 2%, what is the main category of those defects? Uh, all minor. Uh, all minor. All minor. So what happened when we do find one of those defects? How is it being recorded and how do we fix it? Uh, so first step, we, once we find a defect, we have this tracking shield over here. Uh, we do our scooters uh, inspection 100%. Uh, this, is the, this is the scooter scooter ID. Each scooter has its own serial number. So we take down the serial number and then put it on the tracking sheet. And then write down what the, what the exact defect is in Chinese, of course. It's something that can be fixed. Uh, we send it to the repairs at the factory. And then we check right here. There are two, two sessions. Uh, the first one is the, the repair, repair in progress. So that means we, we put it in their uh, in their repair spot. It's being reworked. Yeah, it's being reworked. And then once it's uh, uh, finished reworked, they're gonna bring it back, and then we're gonna go to that same uh, serial number and check that same scooter, making sure the rework is done and then it's uh, acceptable. And then we do another check here, uh, just meaning it's, uh, the repair is done and we checked and everything's okay. This is a car, our QC car. Um, so basically we have the model number, serial number, and our inspector in the day. And then they check off all the, all the uh, inspection procedures, um, all the things they already check on the scooter. Uh, once this is done, they're gonna hang this car on the, on the scooters. The uh, inspectors are accountable for the scooter they inspected. Uh, this way, in the future, we can uh, see which in, uh, inspectors are doing a good job. Uh, and then we have a rewarding right. program uh, for, for the inspectors if they do a good job. Uh, this way, everyone is more accountable. And how it works, so if someone's going to reach out to CX, say there's a problem out of the box, a scratch, and then we're going to reach out to child with the card and say, well, okay, that, that, that's one strike for a pilot, for example. <laughs> so obviously, the checklist is a lot longer than just those 20 bullet points. Um, so what is the, the difference between this and this sheet, for example? Um, this is a inspection. QC car itself is just a reference for, for the whole inspection we have done. Our actual inspection procedure covers over 100 points. Uh, and these are divided uh, roughly about like five for each, uh, each group over here. Our QC at this spot, uh, this is 100% inspection, uh, but this is not the last spot uh, because after this, uh, they will finish. Uh, they will finish inspe inspecting the scooter and then put it over there, waiting for a packaging area, and then they will clean the scooter and then put on the mask, and then uh, we will do another random selection inspection. Uh, at usually, this point, it's you. Uh, right. That's gonna just grab some unit and yeah. inspect them, right? Right. Uh, I pick a random slash and then I make a report based off of the number of defects I found. From this year, uh, this number, the percentage is close to 1%. So the total defect rate based on this random selection uh, inspection. And after that, we put on the packaging line uh, and then our team will also inspect one more time on the line, checking 
uh, checking the uh, cosmetic uh, once again, making sure uh, nothing's wrong with the scooter. And this is the backing one, right? Right. Uh, you put it on the conveyor belt and it goes down. Uh, and then we, we wrap the scooters and then we put it in the box. But before that, our inspector will be in the beginning of the line, uh, inspect all over again, uh, 100%. A lot of inspections. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, manufacturing something that complex is an art uh, of itself. And uh, you know, like, uh, for comparison, like uh, the famous stats from Tesla is 160 default by car when it come out of the factory after the QC. Just show you the complexity of assembling machine. Um, so like I said, we're getting a lot better to it uh, with a great team like uh, Chow. There's a Violet, there's Jack and there's Stump, the rest of our, our team. We keep the feedback coming because that's how we improve it. That's how we then the, send the feedback to Chow and uh, improve it with the team. Uh, so that's why we say we always say that your feedback is so valuable as to facilitate the whole communication within our team. So uh, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any other requests that you want to see behind the scenes, uh, let us know down in the comment below. Thank you.